Hey, motherfuckers. We're doing some Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl. This is the first Stalker game. I have a lot of games coming down the pipe from like fucking Steam sale and GOG sale, so I decided I would revisit this one. I did this on stream, and then now I'm doing it for you as an LP with mods. Uh, and I'm using the Autumn Aurora mod too. Uh, with patch 2. You can literally see the mods I'm actually using on the screen. I didn't use that much because I figured this was enough uh, to change it up a little bit. Um, there's three... There's two other main mods I can see. One is Stalker Complete, which makes the game easier, which people say that. Uh, so I decided to skip on that one. Then there's Lurk Mod, which is actually probably the more popular one, but there's supposed to be a 1.2 patch that never arrived because I think they went to Call of Pripyate and did the, their mods for that instead, so they never finished the the 1.2 mod for that. Uh, for, the, for for this game, anyways. And then I saw Autumn Aurora, too, and I'm like, oh, that's kind of interesting. I'm, I'm pretty sure nobody has seen that, maybe. Uh, so, it was it's kind of less popular than Lurk, as far as I can see. And But, you know, it, it, it's it's more of a graphical change and a little bit of a gameplay change. So, it's, a, it's mixing it up a little bit. Oh, and I, I just have like a patch 2.04 and absolute f nature. It makes it look more like dead instead of like autumn. So it's kind of like autumn me dead, you know. So let's, let's get started. Death would have saved him from the dreams. Let's go and see what value Sidorovich will put on your head. What have you got? A body. It came from the death truck. It's got the mark. Well, you know the drill. Leave him on this the... This is a live one. Bullshit. You're lying. Let the zone take me if I am. Put it here. I think for this one, I can give you... Well, welcome to the fabulous world of uh, Starker, everyone. So... Uh, this mod is a little bit different, because you, you start down here, actually, rather than beside the trader. And I'm gonna go eat some items. And also see what the items are. So, the th some of the things that this mod does is create a new 
UI for me as well. And I, I did notice this box here when I started to play it. So it, this is kind of the inventory system. We kind of can grab items. We can see what's in our inventory. This is what's in the other inventory of whatever I'm taking. So we got our first gun. Nice. So one of the things that the people really like about this kind of a game is uh, it's very realistic with the with the gunplay. Actually, despite the fact it is kind of a buggy game, and it's it's really atmospheric as well because uh, we get to kind of walk around and you know you got to eat stuff and whatever else. So I don't know if I can put bread onto. Uh, oh no, that wasn't until later. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking about the later games and how I could bind the bread and stuff to F keys or whatever, but I think I've just gotta like, uh, I gotta like eat it from my inventory, which is fun. So, uh, it's it's a bit different. There are some different mechanics. It's it's gonna describe it to me now. Uh, how there's like beds and mattresses when I want to go to sleep. Uh, it's also a very pretty looking game. If you don't know much about the Stalker games, they take place um, basically where Chernobyl is. Uh, so where Chernobyl happened, there's like an exclusion zone, and, uh, this game is just like, obviously, uh, like a fiction of like how there's like mutants and anomalies now in the zone, uh, and so the story takes place there, so weird things happen, and, uh, and yeah, so, well, let's, uh, let's see, let's see what the story has to tell us. I love story, and I have, I have bolts. Fuck you, motherfucker. Got anything valuable? The choice is yours. Either I brainwash you like I usually do with other rookies, or I treat you like a real stalker and I give you a mission straight away. Uh, I'll just say... Give me a mission, because you'll get the mechanics as you go. Got a job for you, Mark One. I want you to find a stalker called Nimble. He was carrying some very important information. He disappeared somewhere near the bridge. Find him. Dead or alive, I don't care. I need the flash drive with the info. Visit Wolf from the local camp and ask him. He certainly knows where that guy can be. Alright, so he says that's all for now. And then, uh... Uh, bring me the stuff. And I'll consider it being partially paid for. We can, like, open shit. So there's a... Good there's, hunting, stalker. There's a bit of a looting component to this game as well. And we can also use our binoculars. Which don't really do anything right now. Alright, well, let's, let's go... Let's go find Nimble or whatever. So you can see, uh, I, know, I know our mini-map is very small, but we can actually see where we're supposed to go on it. Come over here, we need to talk. Hi, why are you here? Okay, well, we're gonna find Nimble. Uh, you got a raw deal, he's attacked by some bandits. And all you could do is send an SOS message. Uh, so I'm gonna say, oh, you don't want to rescue people from your own prison? Wow. Or is that you're just too weak to do it? Wow, I'm an asshole. Good, it's just like me in the, in the game. Uh, I'd bop you on, but what's the, what's the use? It's not that simple. I've got a few people, mostly rookies. I can't, I can't take the risk. If we, if we lose a camp, it's gonna get worse for all the stalkers out there. Uh, so what about yourself? If you aren't too scared, I won't let my pride to say no to a helping hand. Okay. Uh, do you think I could do it alone? And he says, no, I wouldn't stand a chance. Uh, this, my scouts are good soldiers right now, and they're behind those, uh, right behind those freaks. Together, uh, you can make a run for it. Okay, I'm gonna try. Guys, I'm sending someone your way, so wing it. You may attack if necessary. Over. All right, we'll send him in. As long as he stays out of the way. Oh. So I have a knife now. I don't, I don't know where the hell it actually equips it, but I think it's just because you're allowed to have a knife at all times in this game, at least. I'm still thinking about, like, the previous games, I think. So, we're, we're now j gonna head towards the camp and, and fucking hang out there. Have a good time. It's, it is the first mission we get, and we get, like, some decent stuff out of that. Now, it, the beeping you're hearing is, is because I'm near an anomaly, or something with radiation. Uh... Uh, anomalies have radiation, so that's that that could be what it's picking up. We hear also some strange noise. There's also some stuff to explore over there. Pipe down, man. Let me fill you in. Uh 
Alright, he's already- Wolf has already sent words. Got any questions? How many bands are in the camp? Seven or eight people, two by the gate, two more in the building, uh, right near the fire, and another two in the one, uh, to the left. That's where they're keeping nimble. Someone usually hangs out, uh, around the yard as well. Sh shall we say prayer and go? Okay, let's, uh, so I could either go try and attempt to stealth this, which is a really terrible idea, or we can just go, let's go run up your back. Men, Wolf here sent us some support along with the order to attack. Time to move on and be heroes. Alright. Uh, it's gonna be four versus eight. I like those odds. And I have leaning. Where are we going go now, fellas? Someone right there. So, I have played, um, so far, Call of Pripyat to completion, and I tried to do an LP of that with Misery mod, and that didn't, that didn't go pretty too well. I was pretty miserable. I'm glad this works. FYI, I have a health bar and a stamina bar in the right corner, although I don't know what that gray bar is. Let's just say that's my, um, my hygiene bar. And how much I have to poop. No, I don't know. Actually, I, I really don't know what that is. Maybe it's my armor or something. Now, it, like, the armor in this game works as a damage reduction thing on your health. Uh, it doesn't work in any kind of strange way that you think. Alright. Let's go get this guy's crap. Yeah, he's on my team, don't worry. I know, I know you were worried there. Uh, there's a pistol there that guy has. Uh, this guy's some more ammunition for me. I don't know what the hell I'm hearing. Uh, there's a Markov PM. I really don't want that weapon. I'm trying to find something else fun and interesting. Let's put a light on, just so we can actually see what the fuck we're doing. Unfortunately, that probably means they can see me as well. But, you know, all, all in the name of visibility, guys. We gotta go find out where they are. We gotta clear this building, though, with just a pistol. Oh. I think someone hates me. There we go. And that guy had some shotgun shells. But no shotgun. Oh, there he is. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's a shot. That's a sawed off shotgun, folks. Alright. And this guy had a med kit on him. Nice. I'm right here. You can just yell at me. God. Alright, and there's a guy that's uh wants me to help him. I owe you, brother. I could never thank you enough. Thanks, brother. I don't even know how to thank you. Uh, listen, I need the flash drive you're you're taking to the trader. Do you have it? He says yes, uh, but these morons can do a proper search. Okay, I don't even want to know where you hit that. So, uh, well, what the heck, take it. Like, where do you keep it, anyways? Ah, <laughs> that's exactly what I said. <laughs> Who knows it might come in handy. He says, I didn't keep it down there, so don't be, don't worry. I've worked for a trader for a long time, so I can store information safely. <laughs> By the way, I've, I've told the thugs a nice little story about a cache full of artifacts, and they ordered one, and gotta go check it out. If the cache exists, it's only got one artifact, I'd give you its coordinates. Okay, sure, thanks. Uh, don't, uh, don't forget there's lots of wild animals there. Uh, besides, the gangster they sent is armed with more than a scoop and a shovel, so be careful. Okay. Uh, do you have a job for me? Oh yeah, find the perfected stew. What is that? While I was in cap captivity, I heard the bandits talking about us, their secret stash and they keep, uh, um, where they keep the, the habar. I heard there was a cool coat there, and next day a monster got his eye on the stash. 
He became so uh, so interested in, and now they're afraid to go there. Do me a favor and bring me the suit and I'll pay you up. Okay, well, I'll look for it. Alright, see you later then. Hopefully that didn't actually set me on fire. No, it didn't. Well, like, I, I, you can't get set on fire really like that in this game, but I could take I could take damage from it. So there's some things to loot here, like there's some shotgun shells and some vodka. Vodka is excellent at getting your ass drunk. That sounds pretty good. <clears throat> so this is um a little bit more about the. So I did play Stalker Misery mod. I did not. I got my ass kicked in that, and I just I wasn't didn't really like that. So I planned on basically playing that vanilla or not vanilla, but like with not a difficult mod. Um, again, at a later date. Uh, and right now, I basically said I would play the Stalker games in order. So this is the first Stalker game, and it's hailed as uh, it, this is an actual like PC, like it's an actual PC shooter game. Like it's not like some fucking port or something. Like it's it's actually really in depth and stuff. It's not like an RPG because this is, this game doesn't really have any kind of systems where. We uh, we level up or anything. We just get better guns, and that's that's kind of the way you level up, or you get better armor, you get better equipment, essentially. You know. So it's not, it's 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 a different kind of game, and it's 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 more realistic in that sense. You know. I'm kind of just exploring, so let me have some fun. I mean, I could go on the rooftop. Why why would I not want to go on the rooftop? Ah, oh, here we go. Okay, so these things have stuff. I don't know if I've missed one from before. And this one did not have anything. So, occasionally we just, we don't find shit. Whatever. All, all my efforts for nothing. I'll go be sad somewhere else. Yeah, let's just climb down here safely. Alright, so we got a couple of options. Let's go look at our handy dandy map here. Um, while it zooms in on us. So there is, um, they hit a cool coat in this thing right here, so I would not mind going there. So we're gonna, we're gonna actually head up that way. Cause we have a, we have a shotgun now, fellas. This is me giving a fuck. We got a sawed off shotgun, most of all. This is not a very good sawed off shotgun, actually. Well, it's, it's okay. There's like a dog thing there. And you can see an anomaly there. It's like a little distortion there. So we can actually just keep going. Because the dog just is ignoring us. That thing probably... Oh, wow. That's, um... That's a creature. Okay, I can't... He doesn't have anything for me to take. Uh, we're almost to the... Is it this cave? I think it's right here is where he was talking about. This is on master difficulty, by the way, so... It's not too difficult right now, but the difficulty should scale up pretty nicely, so... God, I suck. This is not a very accurate weapon. But occasionally you get a hit. I right, here you go. That's the perfected suit that we wanted. Also, weather effects are fucking nice in this. This is a really old game, guys. Uh, well, I think early 2000s. I'm gonna have to look up that whatever the date of this game was later, but uh, let's just say it's old enough. How much ammo do we still have? We got 36 shells. And this guy does not have anything for me. What a shame. Alright. See, that's a really easy mission, so we can just bring him back the, the perfected suit. Oh god. The dogs, man. Yeah, 
Yeah, nothing over there. Alright, we're gonna just go this way. Looks like he didn't follow me, so we're all good now. And now we're back in the camp here. With bodies we did not loot yet. Oh, here, this might be a better shotgun, actually. That's actually, that sounds pretty nice. That, uh, this is totally a better shotgun. So we can unload that, drop that, and put it as our new weapon. So, that, this is kind of like one of the themes of the game is uh, managing your weapons. Uh, mostly the, the fact that the weapons deteriorate. And also, I can see where bodies are on my map. They're little gray dots, but that might be very difficult to see uh, if you're not in, like, HD and... Oh god, oh god, that was a really bad idea. And now I'm bleeding. Do I have a bandage? Not really. Whatever. That's what happens when you step into an oblaze. I was just showcasing that. Then my screen turns all red. The bleeding will go away by itself. Okay, let's go put use the, the health kit I have. We can't just use it in combat anytime we want. We actually have to... Wow, that does not heal a lot. And now, now my vision is kind of foggy too. Fucking dogs. I, I think we could also go heal if we go sleep somewhere. Oh, what's this guy want? Hey. Come here. Let's go in here. Because it's this. There's a helicopter. Now, the thing you have to know about this game is that the military don't like doesn't like stalkers. They're trying to keep them out of the zone. What the fuck? That's an interesting shotgun. And we got that really early on. I don't think that guy ever carries anything like that. But let's let's compare it. Oh god, wait, what do you want? Let's use the new shotgun. This is like a different kind of hunt hunting shotgun. Fucking sweet. Instead of a sawed off, we got this one. Is that all this guy has? Oh. Information. So I got information about a stash from this guy. So let's compare these. Um, the handling is way better on the other one, but the accuracy is way better on this one. And more damage. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use this one just because it's special. Alright, let's, let's head back with the flash drive. So that's what I kind of want to end this end this episode on. So we got a pistol and we have a shotgun. It's nice. Hey, what's up? Oh, we can also return the other quest. I think he's over here. No, don't do that. Have a safe trip, stalker. I'm here for the job. Oh, assignment is complete. Here's a reward. Item lost, mail jacket. I got a stone flower and a silencer. So now I can do silencers for related stuff. Okay. And he has no, no other jobs for me. So, I got this really cool weapon. Uh, why... Why would I want to use that? At all. The fucking Makarov is so much better. But I, I can't equip- I can't attach a silencer to it. Which is interesting. Also, guns don't sell for incredibly that much. Actually, I can- I can have a silencer. In this one. And this one... Yeah, I don't I, fucking why would I want this? I don't really know. I'd rather have the go loud weapon that does more damage and better handling. All right. Oops. Let's not go into the barbed wire. All right, let's go talk to our good friend, uh, Trader, who is such a traitor. 
Yo. So you're back. All right. Did I manage? The situation has become clear. Uh, where's the flashlight with the info? Here it is. Okay. And so, great. That's it. He gave me uh, nothing. Oh, I got an echo artifact detector actually. Listen, Martha, I've done some thinking, and here's what I'd like to offer. Generally speaking, what you really need is to find Strella, right? Let's assume I do. Anyway, here's the thing about Strella. There's a stalker that goes by this name. And they say he's found a path to the northern reaches of the zone. And that is a virgin area, a real gold mine for artifacts. Anyway, I can help you find him. However, as you can imagine, it won't be a free ride. You'll have to work it off. But in the long run, we'll both benefit. You're going to waste that Strelik fella and find out what happened to you, and I'll find... Well, I mean, I'll get my share of our mutual profit. So what do you say? Deal. Go on. All right, listen. You mean business, I can see that. And I... I mean... We need guys like you. We're doing sort of an investigation with some other traders to open up a path to the north, to the center of the zone. And near the center, something or someone is trying to hamper our progress. How the heck this Strelok managed to sneak through, I don't know. You see, there's this one area where your brain starts boiling. An eerie place. Anyway, to cut a long story short, a couple of guys have been spying on those grants for me, not far from here. Apparently the ones at the Agroprom Research Institute have dug up something, something major. I'm positive it has something to do with the center of the zone. Anyway, whatever they've dug up, it's secured somewhere in the third floor of the Institute. We really need this stuff. You know what I mean? I think so. Once you have the briefcase, don't bring it here. Take it straight to the barman. He runs the stalker bar at 100 rads. I'll upload the coordinates and all the data you need to a PDA. Clear? I You'll gotcha. need to go north through the garbage, then turn west. You'll end up at the Agroprom Research Institute after a few kilometers. And be careful, the radiation level is way too high at the garbage. So I suggest you invest in some anti-rad. Or some vodka. Well, good luck. Alright, so no more special missions. Uh, do you repair weapons? Oh, and he said, yeah, he does repair weapons. Uh, I'm gonna say fuck, I'm broke right now because I don't really want to repair these. Uh, I need a job. Bring over the tail of a pseudo dog, sure. We'll do that. Uh, we'll take all his jobs. Kill the sales representative. Yep, I'm up for that. Need a job. Purge area of mutants. Yeah, I'll take that too. And it find the jellyfish artifact, I'm up for that too. I'm just take them all just because. And that's all the time we got for today, so hope you're enjoying. Stalker, and take care guys. Bye.